I farm, 150 acre organic farm, and we've done some YouTube videos and some Facebook stuff. And I guess we're new to the whole technology thing. Um, we only got a, a smartphone in the last year or so. And a lot of people, we've had a lot of views and a lot of subscribers and a lot of people that like it, so we thought we'd better introduce ourselves at some point. So we'll try to keep improving with the, with the camera and the phones and the technology end of it. But uh, a little background on us. My wife and I started farming in 1996, spring of 1996 when we got out of University of Wisconsin River Falls. Um, we farmed conventionally for 11 years, we grew our farm quite large. We farmed about 440 acres and milked 175 cows. And uh, 10 years ago we moved up here and we went a different direction. We, we went grazing, started grazing our cows, turned them out of a, you know, turned them out of the freestyle barns and the concrete. here at Billings. He's 75% Brabant, 250% Brabant mares over there. Um, Hannah's in the middle of the Bay Roan, Eve's on the far side, Blue Roan. Um, they're both seven years old this year. Billings just turned four this fall last week. So he's still growing. They grow until they're about five or six. And we farm 153 acres of our own land and we rent about another 55 more. Um, we do try to do the predominant part of our work with our horses. We like animal horsepower, you know, for many reasons. I think Hannah and Eve are both pregnant. They'll have little babies next spring. They're self-reproducing. You know, um, nature gives us a way to replace themselves. Um, less less dependence on fossil fuel. Just just the whole pace of our of your lifestyle. You know, these horses get tired, so you have to stop for lunchtime, and, and you know, and be with the family for an hour and give them an hour off. It's it's definitely a lifestyle. So anyways, we've done lots of videos. We thought we'd introduce ourselves a little bit, maybe show you some fall plowing. It's uh, early to mid-November, and we're not gonna have too much more good weather before the ground freezes up. You can see the grass isn't as green as it used to be. We have very heavy soil here, quite a few stones. Um, so this last year we bought a white horse plow. They bring a, they build a leaf spring reset plow here. And these leaf springs will give when you encounter a rock and absorb some of the shocks so you don't get thrown off the plow and it's not so hard on the horse. 732 two-way plow. You can plow right or left. So both Eve and Billings will take turns walking in the plow for a um, Really happy with it. The lines of the draft are real good. Um, we can get into more technical about plowing sometime, but uh, there's certain lines of draft you want to make the plow run true. That's really apparent. Like with a walking plow, everything has to be perfect. With a riding plow, you can uh, manipulate that some, and that's actually a bad thing because that adds more draft to the horses. But yeah. Um,